morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, if you have a, the connect cards or prayer cards, uh, we're going to have ushers coming around collecting them. So let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this time. Lord, thank you for um, the weather. Lord, thank you that, yes, even though it may be uh, raining, it may put a damper on what we may have been playing to, God, we know that by your provision, by your sovereignty, you are nourishing this earth, and so we rejoice in uh, your just sovereignty over everything, Lord. Uh, thank you for your grace in our lives. We praise you for the work that you are doing here in this community, through the church, through other churches, through your united body of Christ that is uh, dispersed throughout this area. Uh, Lord, we ask that you would open our eyes to the goodness of your word. We pray that you would continue to uh, be with us, draw us closer to yourself. We thank you again for bringing us here today, for those who are here, for uh, being safe and safely arriving. And Lord, uh, as we continue on in this attitude of worship and in presenting our requests to you, God, we lift all the concerns that are that are before us, um, God, men, though, those that we do know about, those that we don't know about, God, those who are in, uh, in the hospital who are sick or those who are uh, home, thankfully, for, uh, receiving chemo or uh, those who are recovering from any type of surgery or anything, God, we ask that you continue to give them swift healing. God, you continue to um, show them your goodness and your comfort and your healing. God, as we gather together, we lift up our brothers and sisters who are struggling, who are suffering, who are needing that healing touch. Um, Spirit, would you comfort them? Would you give them your healing power? Would you give them your presence that will assure them continually that you love them and that you are here for them. Um, God, in this time of gathering together, we ask you to forgive us of any sins that we are clinging to. God, that you would loosen our grip and expose and convict the sin in our lives, that we would repent and joyfully turn towards you. We would turn away from our sins and give us the strength to pursue our Jesus our Lord, our Savior. God, in this moment of silence, we lift up our prayer requests to you, we lift up our concerns, and we give you glory in this moment of silence. Father, we thank you so much for those who have gone before us, God, those who have given their lives for this country as we celebrate Memorial Day tomorrow, this whole weekend, rather. God, as we celebrate and we, we think about those who have gone before, who have given their lives, who have risked their lives, who have risked everything so that we can be free God, the freedoms that we take for granted every day. We thank you for those who have served this country. We thank you for those who have gone before, both for our country, but also even those who have gone before in the faith. Those who have sacrificed their lives for the spread of the gospel. We thank you for that. We thank you for their risks and for their service to you. And Father, as you taught us, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us.
I know you guys have probably had enough of me, but I have one more announcement. So um, I came back from conference, Pastor and I were at conference, and it's always awesome. It was particularly awesome this time. Um, we passed two uh, resolutions that um, were pretty exciting. One was um, a gender resolution that the church has been last, last year did not get passed because there was language that was supposed to be cut out and it went all around the world with language that wasn't passed. So we, they updated the language, everything has been passed, and um, it overwhelmingly uh, passed our conference. And then what will happen is every annual conference will be um, voting on that and then at the end of the, of, of the year when it's done, um, we should go through it. And the other is, last year, I don't know if you remember, I talked about um, New Jersey has the most segregated schools in the country, more so than the South, if you think about that. So um, they are, um, the Greater New Jersey Annual Conference is going with um, different organizations that have put a lawsuit that's to the state of New Jersey to help with the desegregation, to have mag more magnet schools available to um, all areas in the, in, in, in the um, different cities to help level and desegregate the schools in New Jersey. So um, those are just two things that happened. You're going to see a video that's going to show about the praise and worship. If you have any questions, um, see me. And I'm also going to send out through the prayer chain, and I'll have Joan also send it through the church, um, an update of the other exciting things that went on the conference. Thank you. We serve a God who performs miracles everywhere and wants to do even more miracles through the United Methodist Church of Greater New Jersey. I thank God for all the Holy Spirit is doing throughout GNJ. Thank you. 
for joy. Go forth with hope.